So you finally decided that you want to make a website. Great. There's a lot of tools out there. There are tools that you can use on your computer and then upload the website to the internet. But there are also a lot of tools that allow you to create a website on the internet. It looks pretty snazzy. You might say, well, if it's on the internet, it's probably a little bit cheesy and weak, don't you think? But that's not the case anymore. Two, maybe three years ago, that would have definitely been the case. Now, websites being designed on the internet are very powerful and dynamic. This website from the New Literacies Collaborative at North Carolina State University, for example, was built using an online tool called Drupal Gardens. You can see that it's got content on the front page that's dynamic. Anything can be put onto this front page. You've got a nice little pretty banner that we can highlight specific content with. Um, there is a link to what's called the community. Then we have just the regular blog. We even have a dynamic contact form. So you can send the New Literacies Collaborative an email. All of that can be done through the online program at Drupal Gardens. Now when you go to Drupal Gardens, the first thing you're going to see is the login site. You're going to log into Drupal Gardens. We're going to create a new site. And the site name will be uh, design underscore basics. And that's just, it's going to say design underscore basics dot drupalgardens.com. So you'll be able to, when this is all done and you've watched all the screencasts, come here to designbasics.drupalgardens.com and see these screencasts on the website as well as be able to see the finished website. So we're going to click continue. It'll take a minute and it'll ask us, do we want to use campaign? This is a theme. By the time this goes live and everything happens, there's going to be more themes available here. Click create. And it's going to build our design basics site. Now it's asking me to wait as it's applying all of the themes and colors and graphics and everything. But you'll see in a minute, the website looks pretty polished to start off with. Design basics. Now you can see I've got a control bar at the top of the screen. Design basics, site slogan goes here and the website looks pretty well finished but that's not where we're gonna stop we're going to make it our own website we're gonna change some stuff and make it look nice